Close on the heels of monumental achievement of the Chandrayaan-3 mission, ISRO revealed its plans to launch the Aditya L1 spacecraft or space-based solar probe. The primary objective of this mission is to investigate the Sun, with the scheduled launch set for September 2 at 11.50 am from the Sri Harikota spaceport. The endeavour is to enhance our understanding of diverse phenomena taking place on the surface of the Sun. Covering a distance of 1.5 million kilometres from Earth, the spacecraft will reach the Lagrange 1 or the L1 point situated between the Earth and the Sun. This journey is almost fourfold the distance travelled by the Chandrayaan missions, yet it constitutes merely 1% of the massive 150 million kilometre distance separating the Earth and the Sun. Naturally, the Sun is the one which sustains the entire activities on planet Earth. To understand deeper the various phenomena which is happening on the solar surface is uh, going to be of immense help, uh, in not only for the present but for the future as well. Uh, for the present simply because there are so many things happening on the solar surface which uh, directly affect the living beings here, the <coughs> climate and weather change and all those things. Crafted with a specific purpose, the Aditya L1 spacecraft is geared towards furnishing distant observations of the solar corona and on-site assessments of solar winds. This will be accomplished at the L1 point, a location influenced by the combined gravitational pulls of the Sun and Earth, resulting in heightened zones of attraction and repulsion. These points serve as an advantageous position for a spacecraft allowing them to curtail fuel consumption necessary for maintaining a stable position. Now they have come out with a vignette idea of uh, placing a spacecraft at the Lagrangian point. That is a, a gravitational field device, you know, the sun's gravitational field and earth's gravitational field more or less match at that point. And uh, to maintain a spacecraft there is uh, least expensive in terms of fuel consumption and so on. And again, you get a continuous uh, observation of the sun. Within the Aditya L1 mission, a total of seven payloads will be transported to meticulously observe the photosphere, chromosphere and the sun's outermost layers using distinct wave bands. Similar to the approach taken in the Chandrayaan-3 mission, the spacecraft's orbit and velocity in relation to Earth will be progressively heightened until it is propelled towards the sun. This transition towards the L1 point will take approximately four months for the spacecraft. Subsequently, the spacecraft will be maneuvered into a halo orbit encircling the L1 point where it will operate for a duration of five years amassing valuable data. The solar wind and then the, the core burning all are uh, emanating a uh, lot of uh, uh, things to the, they are coming towards the earth and towards the galaxy. Now, because we are protected by the atmosphere, these are not reaching the uh, earth, mother earth. So we thought if you want to really understand the, uh, the system and its uh, real merit or dangers involved, you have to go out of this and then try to face it. That is the design of this system. So we are going out of the atmospheric uh, condition. And then we are going to place it in a place called L1, which is a Lagrange of the, uh, what do you call, the Meridian. ISRO has emphasized that the Aditya L1 mission is a completely homegrown initiative made possible through the collaboration of domestic institutions. In a communication shared on social media, the space agency headquartered in Bengaluru revealed that the spacecraft will be launched utilizing a PSLV C-57 rocket. Subscribe to the Federal's YouTube page for more news and updates.